Hello friends, it's Anna Komenda here. Welcome in my next video. Today I'm going to create a layout using uh, Days of Splendor collection and some inks. All the colors of the inks are listed on the screen. Um, I was using mini ink cubes, uh, so I had a bigger set uh, with four of each color, but you can use uh, like regular inks. Um, it doesn't have to be the small <laughs> size. It's the ink itself that matters. Uh, I have a glass mat on my desk, so I just tapped the ink uh, over the glass. If you don't have this kind of glass, you can use uh, like a regular plastic foil packaging from anything. You just need to apply the ink there and water it down a lot uh, with a clear water and then take uh, a brush. I would recommend like a bigger, wider brush that holds more water into the hairy tip and uh, then color by color apply it to the cardstock paper directly from above, keeping the brush uh, vertical so because I wanted to achieve those bigger droplets with the splatters, tiny splatters around it. So this is the, um, the best way to get them. <coughs> Sorry. So you can use the bigger, uh, wider brushes, but the uh, key part is to water them a lot so uh, the liquid will just float uh, from them uh, thanks to the gravitation. Um, and you can also squeeze the tip of the uh, brush to like make the fluid flow and then finish each color with some smaller splatters using the smaller brush and just try to do it vertically because we want to have the points, not those kind of a paths of, uh, of ink splatters. And I'm uh, proceeding to the fourth color. I'm not waiting for each color to uh, to dry because first I have quite a bit control uh, on where the droplets will, will go plus I wanted to color um, blend together a little bit because it will be a fall layout and you know those all, all fall colors are some like mix of the warm, uh, warm uh, shades. Uh, so it was the, f uh, the fourth color and I will proceed to the last one, the most yellow color. Uh, I didn't choose uh, the um, direction of the colors, like, you know, it was just a random thing which color I will start and which color I will uh, finish. But uh, the most key thing, clean water with each uh, color because otherwise you will alter the color of the ink with the dirty brush plus uh, a lot of water white sprattling you can of course add more colors but i think five are is already a lot you don't want to create like a colorful uh, birthday confetti uh, here um i think i could uh I could skip one of the blue colors probably uh, with this one, but in the end, uh, some of the composition is covered by the embellishments. You don't want to be shy with your splatters, otherwise they won't be visible from under the composition. Uh, I leave, uh, left my car, cardstock to dry and now I am ready to make a composition out of pictures, papers and embellishments from Days of Splendor uh, collection. I have two pictures of my daughter playing in the uh, rain pools, um, holding the leaves. It was like a fall autumn, uh, like a fall walk uh, we took. It was a few years ago already, but I really like those photos. I also fasciculated frames from one of the 12 by 12 papers, and I am arranging them around my two pictures, creating kind of, uh, I would say, a gallery wall. Uh, something that reminds me of gallery wall and I'm bagging the pictures with pieces of 6x6 six six, uh, uh, papers because they kind of blended in the background too much so I wanted to add a little bit of frame for them to make them pop a little bit uh, and it worked really well I'm happy that I did it and when I was uh, putting down the first photo, I didn't notice it's upside down. <laughs> and almost to the end of the video, I didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I scrapbooked then, but you know, uh, it makes me laugh when I look at this right now. 
uh, with one of the frames I decided to make um, a shaker frame I would say so I am applying a layer of uh, double-sided tape to the back of the uh, frame it's a thin tape so it doesn't uh, get away from the uh, surface of the frame I'm ungluing the tape I'm using a piece of plastic foil to make the window and I'm using just the scissors to cut it around it's a really really fast and <laughs> easy process uh, to do and now it, we have to raise the frame uh, above the surface and for this I have this amazing product uh, this is like a uh, foam strips they they are bendable so they are perfect for making any kind of uh, uh, shakers in even the rounder shapes uh, you can buy them in scrapbook.com uh, uh, I really, really recommend having this product. This is something I use a lot in my scrap room. And I'm putting uh, some sequins and crystals from Pink Fresh Studio 2 uh, to fill my shaker, shaker. And I'm doing it directly on the uh, background paper. And I'm gently uh, gluing down the uh the upper part of the shaker and the shaker is ready now it's time to adhere the rest of the frames uh, i'm also using a double-sided uh, foam tape to do that to add uh, more dimension and uh, everything is glued down and then i notice i'm a little bit off centered here i have more free space on the left than i have on the right of the layout i don't know why i didn't notice that but maybe it was a weird day for me if I didn't notice that I have a picture upside down. Um, so I'm trying to fill this space to make the composition more uh, even and balanced on both sides. So I started with this uh, sticker and I'm going through uh, ephemera pack and flowers and leaves pack. They are all mixed together uh, in one bag because I use um, a lot of those. I didn't want to like, you know, divide them uh, every time when I have to uh, put back the collection after I finish creating with it um, so I'm going through all the elements those are the stitched elements pack and I have this stitched uh, I don't remember what is written there but it just fitted the size so I'm going through the flowers and through like the jacket and the umbrella they both relate to the scene and the situation and the fall itself I also have those paper flares uh, that will go uh, one will go in the middle of the frame so uh, so this is just the most enjoyable part when I embellish my composition and as I said I try to balance it on the right on the uh, left a little bit more because of the uh, problem with uh, frames that are not glued directly in the middle but I managed to do that with this kind of a bigger and darker uh, jacket element and some flowers and I now I am happy how balanced the collect uh, the uh, <laughs> my tongue is tight uh, the composition is I'm adding some finishing touches like those small uh, puffy stickers uh, those are trees I am also adding some uh, acorn and even in this moment I didn't realize my picture is upside down I will do it after I will want to add a title and this is now yep and now I realize but luckily I didn't press the double-sided tape too much so I was able to unglue only the picture and uh, rotate it and everything is fixed and you can't even tell it was upside down before and I'm adding the title here uh, on the picture because I didn't want to add a big title uh, on this layout I don't see a proper spot for it and I'm counting how many letters is in the word I use a Polish word it's a Kaurista uh, it means like a child that like to play in the puddles so, um, and I made a mistake in this word, spelling it, which is awful. And I'm so sorry for all my Polish friends watching it. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't my day for sure. So I'm finishing uh, the layout with the small letters. There, are These small puffy alpha stickers are also from Days of Splendor. And I love, love those sets with multiply colors that matches the collection. You have so many lower and smaller cases. You have so many letters, vowels and not vowels. 
I don't know the English name of the others. <laughs> so A's, E's and all of those. So you can create plenty of titles and this size is perfect for both layouts, but also mini albums, project lives. So if you are more into this and my layout is done, I stitched around the page with uh, the purple thread and this is how the shaker shakes. Here are a few close-ups of my page. Thank you so much for staying with me. Check the description box for all the uh, product links and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye!